What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create dimension to our model. Okay, just a basic way of creating the dimension. So let's zoom in to this area here. So as you can see, I'm on 0, 1 entry level. So let's create the dimension in this area. So for this one, I'll just click the icon here, Align Dimension, or you can also type DI. Okay, so that's the shortcut. So dimension can also be found here on the annotate tab since it's uh, for annotation. So from the annotate tab, so you'll be able to see here the dimension panel. And then these are the tools that you can use to put dimension to your model for documentation. So you can either click the align dimension here or click aligned here. So it's the same. So I'm going to click this one and then just like on other... Uh, basic uh, options so you can click the drop down arrow here for you to be able to see the other options or types that you can use for your dimension okay but for now I'll just use the default here so I'm just gonna create an overall dimension from 0.5 uh, grid to 6 grid so I'm gonna pick here and then after that I'm gonna pick another point here to place it and take note that you can also move the, the dimension in case there is an overlapping with another element or you can't see that clearly by just simply clicking that blue dot and then you can drag that and then you can uh, relocate it. Okay. And then let us put some more dimension strings. So we're, uh, we're going to start from 0.5 and then we're going to pick the grids uh, one by one for us to be able to place the dimension string and then let us move our pointer until it snaps and then click to place it then after that select modify okay so again um let's say for example this is too tight for the five uh five foot uh, five feet sorry so you can click that and then you can relocate it you can drag that away and then just like that okay and then if you want to change the type of your dimension after you place it so you can still do that so you can click the dimension like for example this one and then from the properties you can click the drop down arrow and then i'll just use the baseline type here just click that one and there you go okay so for this one um since it's already selected so i'm gonna click that and then I'm just going to move it below. And then the first dimension that we have created a while ago, which is this one, I'm just going to delete this. So click that and then delete. And there you have it. So let me just click this and then adjust it up. Something like that. Click. You can also use your arrow in moving it. Then I can click this and then just move somewhere here. Okay. Right. And let us also put some dimension here for our horizontal grids. So let's click our align dimension again. And then let's pick our dimension here one by one. Okay. Just pick your grids one by one then click to place it. There you go. Now, let's say, for example, you want to put a dimension on the arc, like, for example, here. So you can use the radial dimension tool. So let's click radial dimension, and then you can now click that, okay? You can also use diameter if you want or radius if you want. So I'll just use radius here, and then I'll just pick here, and there you go. Just click outside place it and then select modify all right okay and then let's move on to this area let's put another dimension so let's click our uh, align dimension again and then i'll just use here uh, wall faces so that my pointer can snap to the wall faces of the wall and then that's it so i'll just put dimension to this face here and to this face here and then just click outside then after that modify 
Okay, and then after that, if you want to modify the dimension text itself, so what you do is you click the dimension text and then click again, and then it will open the dimension text dialog box. So here you can replace that with text if you want. You can type here, it will, uh, it will uh, override the value here, but it will not override the measurement, only the value. So if you want to put some text here or if you want to put an inches word or a feet word, so you can type it here. You can also add uh, text fields here above or below your uh, value. So let's say for below, I'll type here uh, clear. And then after that, I'll just select here apply and there you go. Then select apply. Okay, and then I'm going to click the dimension text. So probably I'll just put it somewhere here. There you go. And then just click outside. All right. All righty. So basically, that's how you place your dimension. That's how you create your dimension in Revit. Okay, so again, if you want to create a new type of dimension, just like what we did from our previous exercises in which we created a new uh, type of structural elements, so you can click your dimension and then you can go to uh, edit type to open up the type properties and then just make sure you duplicate it and then put the name and then after that you can now override the, the properties here. Like for example, you want to change the text color you want to change the the font it's up to you okay just make sure you duplicate it so that you'll be able to create a new type of dimension style all right okay so that's it for this video so hopefully you learned something thank you for watching have a nice day